Hey guys, how are you all and welcome back to yet another amazing video because in this video I'm going to be showing you guys a free tool that you guys can utilize to optimize your PC and its performance. So make sure to stick around till the end of this video because I'm going to be helping you guys fix all kind of lags, stutter and improve your old PC and make it optimal for gaming in 2025. Let's get started right with the video. Alright, first things first, you have to come down to the link in the description below and head over to hone.gg. You guys can simply click on download hone over here. You can also find it on Epic Games. So, you know that it's trusted. And installing this application is super simple as you do for all. Right over here, the home screen should be looking like this, where it shows you active optimizations, boost ups and game settings active. Other than that, it also has a performance checklist where we'll get started right away. First thing over here is creating a backup. Simply click on that and then you guys can click on create a new backup. It will look for all of the restore points that you have created in the past. Simply click on create a new backup over here before you do anything and name it Hone so you can remember it. I would highly recommend you guys not to skip this step because it is really essential. All of the settings that we are going to be changing ahead in this video would be hard settings. Keeping a backup will always be handy. Once that is done, simply click on finish backup. And now you guys can see your Hone backup should be added in the right over here. Now what you guys can do is simply click on the home button and we are done with the backup. Next is applying a game preset. You guys can apply the best settings according to a game but I would not recommend you guys to do that. What you can do is instead come down to the optimizations tab over here and start performing these optimization. Firstly head over to the basic tab and then disable browser hardware acceleration. Then you guys have to come over here and then click on disable boot effects. Then come down and over here you have to disable browser updates. Then disable ease of access settings. Come down and disable OneDrive over here if you do not use that. Then disable sticky keys. And once that is done, head over to the general settings. Click on optimize windows power plan. Disable transparency. General windows optimization. Optimize windows timer resolution. Optimize message signal interrupts. Disable windows power throttling. Disable windows game bar. Optimize mouse. Remove network bandwidth limits. Then gaming optimizations. Optimize IO operations. Disable taskbar and start menu telemetry. And the most important one over here is disable power saving features to reduce input latency. Next, optimize NetSH network settings, which will help you to run a command line tool, which will optimize your NetSH network settings. Then, optimize memory management, optimize device affinities and disable Cortana. Then you have general privacy options over here, simply click on that. Disable mitigations, optimize drives and optimize network adapter settings. Then disable SMB1 and SMB2 and also disable super fetch over here. Disable Nvidia HDCP if you guys have an Nvidia graphic card which will help you to disable high bandwidth digital content protection. So in case you are screen sharing any movies with your friends, you might not see a black screen. Then come all the way down and disable task offload, disable xbox, disable windows insider and if you guys do not use any fax and print services you can disable that as well over here. Disable all of these telemetries so chrome telemetry, edge telemetry, nvidia telemetry, firefox telemetry, office telemetry, visual studios telemetry, windows telemetry once again and remove windows settings ads. Once that is done, head over to the advanced tab and then click on I understand and then click on I understand over here. If you guys are not a developer, you guys can disable telemetry for your developers and do not touch anything other than that. Once that is done, head over to the boost up tab from the left hand side and over here click on the junk cleaner. Click on boost performance and then click on boost performance over here. This will open up a window like this which will scan and clean your PC. You guys can press Y over here and this will clean all temporary files right off your PC. It is really beneficial but I'm not gonna be doing it right over here. It will help you clean your DISM and help you clean your junk files. That is your temporary files on your PC. And once you press enter, click on finish boosting. Now it will show you optimized. Then you have to click on optimize defag drives 
and then click on boost performance and then click on boost performance once again it will help you defrag and optimize your disk drives which is also a super handy and useful tool and once all of that is done you guys can come down and find the recommended scan and fix drive errors click on that and then click on boost performance click on boost performance once again and this will open up this window you guys can simply press y to continue and this will fix any kind of issues with your disk drives next is scan and fix system errors this could be causing feature breaking things fps jobs lags and setup black screen and other issues simply select that and click on boost performance then click on boost performance over here and once it starts it does an sfc scan dism scan and an sfc rescan to check if your pc is completely fixed this will scan and fix any kind of corrupted windows partition or any kind of disk errors I would recommend you guys to let it do the job in the background. It might take a while, so just let it run in the background, minimize it, and once it is done, click on finish boosting right over here. It also offers a games library over here, which will auto detect all of the games that you have installed on your PC. What you guys can do is simply optimize your PC for a particular game. For example, if you wanna play Marvel Rivals, select that, and then click on best performance right over here and then click on activate preset this will optimize all of these settings over here which is listed right away click on activate preset and drop into the game there are a lot of other features on home.gg so i would recommend you guys to download it for yourself and check it out i have left a link to home.gg right in the description below and once again this is a one click optimizer help you boost your pc and optimize the performance on low-end pcs as well i hope this guide helped you out to figure out how you can optimize your old pc by using a simple PC optimizing app. If this helped you out in any way, make sure to comment how it did and your experience doing that. I will see you all in another amazing video. Until then, stay tuned, keep watching Bear Fox, and peace out.